So, I am Cadet Coon, and he's Cadet Proctor, and sadly, Kozol, Cadet Kozol wasn't here because he's sick, and I'm doing Jupiter. Overview of what you're learning, the moons of Jupiter, and the general stats and mass and density, and compare that to Earth. The, like, the red spot on Jupiter, like how that caused and how that happened. The missions to Jupiter, like our future Jupiter missions, and then ones that have traveled in the past, and then discoveries we made by the missions. So the basics. The mass of Jupiter is 1.89. 1, 3 times 10 to the 22nd, 22 yeah. kilometers. The circumference is 4, 4, 4 3, 9, 2, 6, 3, 8 kilometers. The density is 1.3 centimeters cubed. The volume is 1.34313 times 10 to the 15th kilometers to the third power. Length of day is 9 hours and Jupiter is 5.8 AUs from the Sun, and Jupiter has 60 fingers. The atmosphere is made of uh, hydrogen and helium. The outer mantle is layered of liquid hydrogen. The inner mantle is layered of, uh, that takes up most of the Jupiter's interior, made up of liquid, the, of liquid metallic hydrogen. The core, whether or not Jupiter has a core, is unknown. Because it could be gas or it could be in a dome. The difference between Earth and Jupiter. Sorry. Oh. That's the space one too many times. Oh, wait. Oh, you can go one more. Oh, the great red spot, which is on Jupiter, as you can see. The green, um, is answers that rotates counterclockwise is in Jupiter's southern hemisphere, winds inside the storm rage at and then speeds up to several hundred kilometers per hour, which is fast. Uh, historical observations from the last 1800 showed the spot to be 4, 401,000 kilometers across and then the Voyager 1 viewed it as 2,300 200 kilometers and 1979, the year 2014, the red spot Jupiter under 16,500 kilometers. The difference between Earth and Jupiter, the mass of Earth, yeah, the mass of Jupiter is 1.8913 times 10 to the 27th kilometers. The circumference is, like we said, the density, the nine hours is over that. Mass of the Earth is 5.972 times 10 to the 24th. So it's kind of close as mass. Sorry, no, because it's adding like three zeros to the end, that's a lot of difference, yeah. actually. Yeah. And then the circumference is 40,700 kilometers. The density is 5.5 kilometers centimeters cubed. The volume is 1.08321 times 10 to the 12th is Earth's volume. The length of the day is 24 hours. And the Earth is 1 AU from the Sun. So, I'll take this one. Sure, okay. Well, everything was basically gathered from probes and just by making observations of, of, of Jupiter like the different bands, the colors, you can use those to determine what they're made of. Like, I believe hy hydrogen glows at a reddish color when you, when you look at it. And helium is more orange, as you can tell from looking at Jupiter through any kind of telescope. And the science missions, uh, the Pioneer 10 and 11 both went past Jupiter in, I believe, 1972, I believe. The first Pioneer 10 was 1972, and Pioneer 11 was 1975, I believe. Um, the 
Pioneer 10 was the first spacecraft to make a direct, ob direct observations of Jupiter. Before then, it was just looking at it with your own eyes or through a telescope. No one ever actually went to the planet before then. And then we have Voyager 1 and 2, which those took place in the late 70s, early 80s. Voyager 1 was 1979, Voyager 2 was 1983, I think. And together they took 33,000 pictures of, of Jupiter, which is a lot of pictures. And they also took pictures of the, its four largest moons, Io, Europa, Castillo, and Ganymedes. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. But. And then in 1992, the Galileo orbiter was pro, um, actually circled Jupiter for a while and actually took took pictures and and um sent took took samples of, 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 of the atmosphere and determined um what that it was in fact made of, of helium and hydrogen, mainly just to confirm that it was. And it, it also studied its moons. And yeah, that took place in, in, in 1992. And then it ended up um Burn, being crushed in Jupiter's atmosphere because it, 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 we let go of it, let it fall into Jupiter's atmosphere, so it got crushed. And there's enormous pressure underneath it. Uh, this is what they dis discovered. Pioneer 1, 10, and 11 discovered that it, that the, by taking observations of it, they discovered that it was um, that the outer mantle would and parts of the inner mantle were, were liquid hydrogen instead of instead of a gaseous form. And they also were discovering its how large its magnetic field was and stuff like that. And um, Voyager one and two, they discovered that um, that Io has um, has has active volcanoes on it. It's the boy, um, I'm sorry, I completely spaced. But the Io um, ended up having um, ice volcanoes, where they spewed up ice instead of um, instead of um, magma. Lot of magma. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Europa. Uh, yeah. Uh, Galileo over it is this this one. They, as I told you before, discovered that it was um, they discovered what that it, what, what what the atmosphere was made of, and it also um, discovered that Europa found evidence that Europa might have liquid a liquid um, ocean underneath its surface, because you can't it, n n n none of these ever actually landed on anything but they, they took observations from close range. And, yeah. And what we don't know is whether Jupiter has a core or not, because we can't get anything close enough to it to actually go down in there and, make, and, and see if it has a core or not. And how Jupiter formed, that's been kind of a, kind of a big question, on whether, whether or not it was formed early on or late late. Scientists think that it was formed early on because it was um because it was predominantly made of, of hydrogen and helium. Because right when the the, the um the galaxy the solar system was formed, um the sun took up all, all hydrogen and helium and used that to create a fusion reaction. And because Jupiter is made out of similar um Similar substances, scientists think that it formed in the same time period, but it just didn't get enough to become a, become a star. And the Juno spacecraft is scheduled to arrive at, at Jupiter in 2016, and it's supposed it's supposed to go there to actually like go there and discover whether it has a core or not. And it doesn't really, it, it's going to 
find more evidence to, to support the theory that it was that Jupiter was created in the um, same time period that um sorry same time period that the sun was created. And there are a couple other things that it's there to do, like just normal observations of it and stuff. We there, it's been we, we know that there is water um, in some and in the, the atmosphere of Jupiter, but we don't know how much because we haven't taken a large enough sample to get a good percentage of how much water is in there. And we don't know whether um, the the color belts, the hydrogen and helium belts go all the way to the center or if those are just on the top and the, the, the center is more uniformly distributed and uh, we don't really know what what made the great red, red spot occur we, we know that it's from solar sorry not solar from the winds of Jupiter but we don't know what's caused the winds to create the giant dock in, on Jupiter now, if we had unlimited money, we would um, end up, well, I, in my opinion, we would try and um, create more efficient means of travel so we could actually get there and test with our own eyes and actually physically look at it and do experiments to, with it, which I know it's kind of not really... We, if we had unlimited money, we'd have a lot of research we could do in, into it. But, and we would make inter, um, interplanetary travel seem more like it's possible instead of being so out of reach for us right now. Because right now, I think it takes like 10 years. Sorry. It takes a, a, a long time to get to, to Jupiter. So to, we're trying to see if we, what we can do to make that shorter. And Thing. Oh, in, in summary, uh, the Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. It's a gas giant. And it has 63 known moons. There could be other moons that we just haven't discovered yet. And four of the moons are visible with a low-power low telescope, which are Io, Ganymedes, Gen uh, Castillo, and... Uh, I can't remember the last one, sorry. Uh, Jupiter is made up mostly of hydrogen and helium. It has layers similar to Earth's atmosphere because it has an in, it has layers like we have the stratosphere, it has the, the inner core, inner mantle. It's more like the, on the inside layers of, of, of Earth than on the outside, but you could still be, you could get a relationship between the two. Uh, the, there's a great red spot on, Ju on Jupiter, and it's shrinking. It's shrunk, based off of the previous slide, it's shrunk 23,000 kilometers in the past 30 years or so. And Jupiter is a about 5.2 AUs from the Sun, because it's not exactly that much, because it doesn't have a perfect orbit. And, um, Galileo just the Galileo orbiter discovered evidence that Europa has a liquid ocean underneath it. Voyager one and two together took thirty-three thousand pictures of Jupiter and its largest moons. Uh, thank you. I hope that you learned something out of this. And that's about it. Everybody give a round of applause, please. All right. First of all, we got four minutes. Do y'all have a Word document? Uh, yes. Have you shared it with me? I think he has. Okay, make sure you share it with me. Number two. Um, Sir, are we supposed to see the Word document? So we I'm going to share it with you. You'll see it online. So we do this separately. you got a month. you got a week to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody have. Okay. And then, uh, okay. Questions. Round the room. Questions quick. we got four minutes. Uh, yeah. Do they have an idea what liquid would be under the sea for Europa? 
No, not the, well, there's not um, that much evidence. And you said that one of the one spot that was covered with liquid is the entire surface of the planet covered in that, or is it mostly rock like ours? Um, are you talking? You talk to Jupiter. The yes. it's we we think um, it has a core in it, a, a small core that's really massive, but other than that, the rest of it's hydrogen and helium. There is no other chunks anywhere. Just kind of like water or liquid it's everywhere. Li yeah, it's a, li it's a liquid hydrogen because of, because of the pressure. It's a, enough to make it a, make it a liquid. Uh, yeah. uh, you said that the big storm, that red dot that's on Jupiter, is shrinking? Yeah. Wherever you got your information and your resources from, did they say is if it's going to keep on shrinking until it like totally dissipates? Or? No, they didn't. But at the rate that it's de decreasing in the next 10, 15 years, we'll know for sure. But the, the, the resource that I used to discover that did not tell me that. Did you all have any three resources for paper? Yes, sir. Okay, so did you all list it up there? Oh, yeah. It's the okay. slide after. Okay. That's right. I, I didn't see. I was doing something else. Okay. Super. And then your five questions. Where are those? Five the, questions. I have not um, upload, I have not put those on, on, on there yet. Today? To, yeah. Today. Right when I get home today. Okay. Ready. Sounds good. Somebody else had a question? Yeah. Can you explain the surface rings on Jupiter? Explain the surface rings? Yeah. Like um, The bands. Yeah. Oh, the bands. I'm not exactly sure.